Hello everyone, this is Damon with Pixnub Software. In this video, I'm going to be demonstrating Chroma Key Lab version 2 to create sports poster compositions using pre-extracted images. One of the misconceptions with Chroma Key Lab is a lot of people think that you need easy green screen to use it, and that's actually not true. The, um, the column on the right, these workflows are for using easy green screen to do the extractions and then build the compositions. However, the middle column will do the exact same compositions from images that have already been extracted. Now, it doesn't matter how you extracted the images. As long as you have a folder of images with transparency, it'll work just the same. So I'm going to load in CSV data here. And what this data is used for is automatically replacing text as well as it can auto scale the text. This is an optional step, but it's very handy um, to make your workflow fast. I'm using the um, mode that uses the face detection plugin called Portrait Crop, and this will automatically compose the images based on face placement and automatically scale the images. We'll just run it so um, you can see what it does here. So you see it's opening the images that have already been cut out it puts them on the posters and then it uses that um, face detection to automatically compose the image so it'll put the face where you told it to in chroma key lab and then scale based on the scale settings you used and you really can't see it happen because it's too fast for the screen to refresh so we will go over to the folder here and watch the images as they drop in so you see that each poster the um, the person is composed the same way, the face is in the exact same spot, they're scaled the same way, the text is replaced, and the text is also scaled so that the players with fewer letters in their name, the text takes up the same footprint as players with um, more letters in their name. So I'll just go over to um, Photoshop here and we'll just watch it finish up. And you can see we've also got a batch processing status window that tells you how many images are complete. Um, how much time it's taken and how much time you have left and so this will be done in just a few seconds so you can see that it completed 10 images in 1 minute and 11 seconds for 7 seconds per image so I'll just um, open up one of these photos here and we'll scan through them and if you look closely at the text you see that the text footprint is exactly the same for every player and you can see that they're composed the same way with the face detection their faces are in the exact same spot each time anyway thanks for watching and if you're interested at all in chroma key lab please be sure to visit our website that is pixnub.com